So the LA Clippers signed John Wall, and it's an interesting move. I mean, John Wall, of course, hasn't played in such a long time, but still, we know how good Joel can be now. Does he have the same explosiveness as he did in Washington? Not really sure. Does he still have that decent mid-range jump shot? How bad will this three-pointer be? And it's, I would say, a low-risk, high-reward move. So before we start, I mean, I know I haven't posted in a while. I went on vacation for a little bit, and I'm trying to get back more. I came back a couple yesterday, pretty much. And especially with free, agents, free agency picking up, then I'm definitely going to start posting more videos. So let's get right into it. Now, so first thing I have to address is tampering. And I mean, like, John Wall is a free agent. And he's like a normal free agent, but still... Heat. Free agency doesn't start until Thursday and like we already know where he's going like does the league care about that? I mean we of course saw what the Heat and the Bulls last season where they lost the second round pick due to the Kyle Lowry and Lonzo ball tampering but like he's a normal free agent shouldn't they care about that type of stuff? I mean tampering of course a lot of people see it as like there's no reason to do this I mean the moment where their season ends, they're going to talk about the next contract. But, I mean, there's of course reason why you can't talk to other people. There's reason on both sides, and I feel like they either have to force it a lot or just get rid of it entirely. But now, John Wall and the Clippers, I mean, the Clippers have become quite a good team. I mean, Kawhi Leonard, I think a lot of people are forgetting how good Kawhi Leonard is. I was watching that 2019 Game 7 against the... Uh, Raptors versus Sixers and Kawhi Leonard is, is just absolutely insane. PG, of course, is still there. He really proved that he's no longer pandemic P. He can still play like playoff P. They still have Reggie Jackson. We'll see how the minutes between Reggie Jackson and John Wall interfere with each other because Reggie has really proven to do everything the Clippers asked for him. I mean, being that point guard. And yes, they did not have much point guard talent, but I mean, he was a good scorer, decent passer, and yes, he still has a lot of problems and maybe you don't want him as your starting point card but like he's really proven that he can be a good fit on the scene and he's still players like Terrence Mann who can maybe take another step. Luke Kennard had a good season this year. Norman Powell I think is a really underrated player. Marcus Morris and he was someone like Robert Covington. This team has a lot of solid wings especially that can defend and they recently saw they recently re-signed Avisa Zubak, which I think is a good move, but John Wall, of course, he's not the same player as he's in Washington. He, of course, tore his Achilles, I'm pretty sure, and had a couple other small injuries and just didn't play last season due to just the Rockets wanting to play their young guys. And I know he definitely, he worked out with the team still, but the Rockets just didn't want to play him. Now, he is giving back $7 million out of his $47 million contract, so... I mean, he's still getting $40 million and he signed about a $6 million contract with the Clippers, so he's still getting paid about $46, $47 million. And with the Rockets, I mean, two years ago, he averaged 27-3 and three on, yes, pretty bad shooting, 40% from the field, but if, you, if you're if you expecting John Wall to just be a, a really good backup point guard, maybe a decent starter... For this Clippers team, then I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Now, if you expect him to be that star, all star, all borderline all star caliber player, then I think you are gonna be disappointed. But I mean, he's still a good player, and knowing how much like commitment money wise the Clippers have to this roster, getting a player like John Wall to further bulk in this team, I think is definitely a good move. Really. We'll see how he fits alongside PG and Kawhi. Is he going to take more, like, get the ball less, maybe use his explosive as a cutter? Maybe that would be good. And we'll see if will he have injury problems. His defense has been, I would say, solid. I mean, we, of course, haven't seen him play in over a year, so we're not completely sure about that. But if he can buy into that side, I think he can be a solid player. I mean, they have so many solid wings, and pretty much a lot of people see that the biggest problem this with this team is the point guard position and John Wall if he can play at least solid I mean his jump shot you're not expecting anything with this three-point shot but it can if he can play solid on that side then I think it's a good move I mean there was the, I mean the other point guard options were like Kemba Walker I mean both are aging stars point guards have injury problems so I mean I mean I guess it's a decent move for them but I would say this Clippers team, I personally like their chances a lot next season, and I'll talk about probably that more in a future video, especially when this offseason wraps up. But this Clippers team, low risk, high, high reward move, and I like it for the Clippers.